In this drill, I ask students to volley the ball straight down the wall. I only tell them when I start the machine. Not given any other clues like racket preparation or your opponent's body positioning, they have no other uh, way than waiting until the ball comes out of the machine. Reinforcing the notion that you need to watch the ball when the ball's behind your body. The reason for the ball to be hit straight is to make it realistic. So after students hit the shot straight, they should follow the ball and keep watching the ball machine again. Volleying a shot coming out of the back corners is ideal to teach watching the ball, as there is far less time available when you try to hit the ball on the fly, so the more important it is to see the ball very early. To make watching realistic, set the interval slow enough that the ball's hit is already behind you, when the next ball is fed out of the machine. The goal is for students to keep track of the ball as they recover back to the middle, basically never take, taking their eyes off the ball. A very common mistake most players do is not to keep track of the ball as they recover back to the middle. It's crucial that you watch the ball at all times, as most of the time you don't have time to go all the way back to the middle. Using random mode with a squash ball machine is one of the best ways you can do to teach the crucial habit of watching the ball at all times because students never know when the ball is going to come out of the back corners.